Sixers hosting the Hornets, and the Sixers are 11-point favorites. The over-under is at 216.5. The Hornets are plus 480 on the money line, and the Sixers are minus 650. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip-off tomorrow. They've played twice this season, both games in Charlotte, and the Sixers won both games 135-82 and then 97 89, and I believe that was without Embiid. As far as the lineups are concerned, it's supposed to be Maxi, Heal, Batum, Harris, and Reed, and I don't think the Hornets put a lineup in yet because their game just ended that they played against the Bucks, and they lost that game by 12. I think that they actually pushed in that game, so ironic. Head to head. The Sixers are 8-2. The Sixers are on a four-game winning streak. The road team is on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3. The favorite is 5-4-1 against the spread. The favorite is 9-1 on the money line. The under is hitting their last three games. The under is 5-4-1, and the over-under at 216.5 is 5-5. The Hornets uh, are on a two-game losing streak. They were home tonight. They're 1-3 in their last four. They're 5-5. Five Overall, 6-4 and four against the spread. The under is 8-2. and two, And the Bucks actually covered by a half a point, depending upon where you got them. The under has hit in the last seven games that the Hornets have played. And this is yet another game that they have failed to score 100 points. There was a total of 181, then 173, then 100, uh, 208, and then 210. Losing by 13 to the Warriors, beating the Blazers by 13, losing by 38 to the Bucks, and then losing by 12 to the Bucks. And in their last four games, they have yet to score 100 points. They came close tonight, but didn't do it. For the Sixers, they are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 3-7 against the spread, and the under is 8-2 and two in their last 10 games. The under has hit in their last five. They are 1-4 in their last five games. There's a total of 206, 201 then 217, and then 216. And in the last two games that the Sixers have played, they didn't score 100 points, and three out of their last four, they didn't score 100 points. So they lost by 14 to the Knicks. They beat the Cavs by seven. Then they lost by 21 to the Bucks, and then by 18 to the Celtics. Granted, they had tougher opponents, but this is just two teams who have been struggling to score 100 points. I'm going to take the Sixers with the money line. I'll take the Hornets getting the points, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.